Fourth of July is a time for barbecues, fireworks, and of course, the American flag. A time when Americans are exceptionally proud to be, well, American. And for decades, leaders have used the occasion to proclaim that they're part of the greatest country around. America is the greatest country in human history. Greatest country on earth is that America is the greatest country on the face of the earth. But this year, people apparently are not buying it. Recent polls suggest only 17% of Americans can confidently say that they're proud of the current state of their homeland. And who can blame them? This year's 4th of July falls on a day when economic recession, a global pandemic, and nationwide protests against institutionalized racism all plague the country. The U.S. desperately needs solutions, and the people desperately need a holiday. But for some, criticizing July 4th's symbols of patriotism seems to be on the top of the agenda. Many are calling to switch the national anthem from the Star Spangled Banner to America the Beautiful. Supporters of the change say that the current anthem is racist since its composer owned slaves and some of its original lyrics were no doubt outrageously bigoted. But most Americans rarely ever made that association in the first place. Flying the flag on Independence Day has been as American as apple pie for as long as memory serves. But this summer, the stars and stripes are feeling the heat. Man, How's that horrible? You know what's horrible? You know what's horrible? You know what's horrible? You know what's horrible? Over a million memesters have even signed a petition to replace the flag with this version of America's most patriotic symbol. Of course, it was likely not intended to be taken seriously, but the sentiment remains. The Founding Fathers, another icon Americans can easily identify with. They declared that all men are created equal and endowed with inalienable rights. But in 2020, Many have been more concerned with their slave-owning past, and the statues built in their name have come under assault because of it. Washington Park's monument to its namesake is just the latest in the city to get painted over there. Here in Baltimore at the George Washington Memorial and Statue in Druid Hill Park, you can see how it's been vandalized with red paint and the words, destroy racist. Another statue in Portland has been taken down by protesters. This time, it's George Washington. Video on social media also shows them lighting it on fire. America's latest unrest against police brutality is not the first time we've seen how a country's past can influence the present in a negative way. But will attacking national symbols that serve to unite Americans on Independence Day fix those problems? Or will they serve to further divide a nation that seems to be ripping apart at the seams? It very well could end up being dangerous. I mean, we could see us going back to things that, that we don't want to go back to. It could see us forgetting about things that we don't want to forget about. There may be statues and, and different types of uh, symbols that might need to be removed. But if we leave it up to the left, it'll go, it, basically it'll go crazy. I mean, because we've got people on the left who are trying to tear down Abraham Lincoln. And, and other members of the union. So it's not just the Confederacy. Some of them are just seeking to, to, to cause damage and destruction. Our nation has been very divided over the past uh, three or four or five years or so. Um, it's been a, a lot of us at our necks. It's been a lot of the fringes fighting and, and, the, and the loudest on each side, uh, you know, excoriating one another. So it has caused a deep divide. And I think it'll take some time to get back to a sense of normalcy and to mend um, the rift that's been formed 